In this era of pandemics and economic upheaval, too many people become depressed, despondent, many feel like just giving up on life. My next guest found a very unique way to remind hurting people that their lives really do matter. And for that, she's this week's Huck's Hero. May 2017, a friend of ours told us the suicide rates in our community, and we were just baffled. It's the helplessness, I don't know how to help, but I want to be of help. And I thought of this idea I had to make these yard signs with encouraging words on them. My husband, my two young daughters, and myself got in our car on a dreary, rainy Saturday afternoon to stake 20 yard signs around our small town of Newburgh, Oregon. The signs said things like, don't give up, your mistakes don't define you, and you're worthy of love. Well, when we got home from staking these 20 signs around town, I had a neighbor who messaged me and said, I think you're the ones who did this, but you should go on Facebook, people are talking about them. And not only that, they want signs in their yards. And that is how the movement started. Please welcome the founder of the Don't Give Up Movement, Amy Wolf. Hey, Amy, I am blown away by this just very sort of authentic and kind of organic story yeah. of somebody who said, I want to help some people be encouraged. You had no idea this was no. going to go across the world. No, I bought these signs yeah. and I was loading them in my trunk and I had this moment of, this is the dumbest idea I have ever had. <laughs> this will help no one. Who am I to do anything? I have never struggled with mental illness. I, I have no seat at the table on this issue, but it was a string of suicides in our community and I felt compelled to do something. And I had already spent $140 on yard signs. I'm not Gotta letting do it them now. sit in my garage. So put them out and wild the response from people immediately. There is a story that's in the book that you've written called Signs of Hope, and it's one that just jumped off the page. One of the first people who saw the signs yeah. was on his way to commit suicide. Yeah, it was a man in Salem, Oregon, went to go pick up pizza for his family for dinner and had been struggling, uh, struggling with severe depression for years. On his way home, decided tonight was the night, took a different route home out of the blue, and on that road, something stopped him in his tracks, literally pulled over his car, and it was a sign, and it said, don't, don't give up. Wow. It's really too simple, and yet I think it's a really powerful reminder for all of us yeah. that it really doesn't take much, except we're gonna spread hope, and hopefully people see it at the right place at the right time, and that's what we do, is we just be generous in love and generous in hope. I mean, Amy, that's three words. I know. Three simple words, black on white poster, and this guy decides that he doesn't want to end his life yeah. after all. A couple years ago, we had a similar story. A young woman was driving through a rural town. She was struggling with infertility. She just lost her job. Her husband was about to be deployed. Her brother died by suicide the year prior and she had found him. And she was on the way home thinking, I don't want to live anymore. Mm. And zip tied to metal stakes in the middle of a field in farmland was a sign that said, one day at a time, don't give up. So she Googled us, found us, and said, you saved my life. That's just amazing. So how do people even get these signs? How do, how do they yeah. distribute them? We have a website, people buy them, and they put them out. It's super simple. We really are in the business of equipping people to spread hope and love, because we need it. We need those reminders, even if they're super simple. What I think is so powerful about this is the simplicity. Yeah. You know, these are not signs that have six colors that are really razzle-dazzle. I think what makes them effective is that the message is stark, it's simple, it's brief, but yeah. it hits the point, and that's what people are responding to. Yeah, we're thirsty, and we need some goodness. We need some goodness, and the power of this is that I'm nobody. I'm a young mom running a small business in the middle of Oregon, but we can all do something to help other people, and who knows what will happen. 
Well, we know what's happening. People are living that would have died. And it's all because you just decided you were going to do something. I think that's the powerful story here, Amy, is that you, you said, I can't change the whole world, but maybe I'll just encourage one person. And you've encouraged millions. What an amazing story. And I hope that this book is one that you'll get and you'll join Amy in this crusade of encouragement. The book is simply called Signs of Hope, How Small Acts of Love Can Change Your World. My guess is it'll change your life as much as it will others. It's available now. And if you want to learn more and to read Amy's essays and find all of her social media links, visit don'tgiveupsigns.com.